Have you ever thought about the difference between lifespan and health span? It's important to not just live longer but also ensure the quality of our years. Absolutely. Lifespan refers to the total number of years we live, while health span focuses on the years we spend in good health without chronic diseases or disabilities. That's right. It's not just about adding years to our life but adding life to our years. So, how can we enhance our health span and maintain good health as we age? One crucial aspect is adopting a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and maintaining a healthy weight are fundamental for promoting good health and extending our health span. Definitely. Exercise helps maintain muscle strength, flexibility, and cardiovascular health, reducing the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes as we age. And nutrition plays a vital role too. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins provides essential nutrients, antioxidants, and fiber that support overall health. Absolutely. Adequate sleep and stress management are also crucial for maintaining good health. Sleep allows our bodies to repair and rejuvenate, while managing stress helps prevent chronic health issues. It's important to prioritize preventive care as well. Regular health checkups, screenings, and vaccinations can help detect and manage any health issues before they become severe. I agree. Early detection and intervention can make a significant difference. It's better to address any health concerns proactively rather than waiting for them to escalate. Another important factor is social connection. Maintaining strong relationships, engaging in social activities, and having a support system can positively impact mental and physical well-being. Absolutely. Loneliness and social isolation can lead to negative health outcomes. So, staying socially active and connected with friends, family, and the community is essential. Additionally, cognitive stimulation is crucial for maintaining brain health. Engaging in activities that challenge our minds, such as reading, puzzles, or learning new skills, can help preserve cognitive function. That's right. Continuous learning and mental stimulation help keep our brains active and agile, reducing the risk of cognitive decline and age-related conditions like dementia. It's also important to address any potential risk factors or unhealthy habits. Quitting smoking, limiting alcohol consumption, and avoiding excessive sun exposure are all essential for long-term health. Definitely. These lifestyle choices can significantly impact our health span. By making positive changes and adopting healthy habits, we can optimize our overall well-being as we age. And let's not forget the importance of emotional well-being. Taking care of our mental health, seeking support when needed, and practicing self-care can contribute to a better quality of life. Absolutely. Prioritizing self-care, managing stress, and seeking help when necessary are all essential for emotional well-being and maintaining a positive outlook on life. It's inspiring to know that we have the power to make choices that can influence our health and quality of life as we age. It's never too late to start taking steps towards better well-being. That's true. By focusing on both the quantity and quality of our years, we can strive for a fulfilling and healthy life. Let's prioritize our health and make the most out of every moment. Have you ever wondered about the role of genetics in determining lifespan? It's fascinating how our genes can influence how long we live and the diseases we may inherit. Absolutely. 
Genetic variations play a significant role in determining our susceptibility to certain diseases and can impact our overall health and longevity. It's interesting to see how some individuals seem to have a genetic advantage when it comes to longevity. Certain genes are associated with a decreased risk of age-related diseases. Yes, and on the other hand, there are genetic variations that can predispose individuals to hereditary diseases, which can affect both lifespan and quality of life. Understanding our genetic predispositions can help us make informed decisions about our health and take preventive measures to mitigate potential risks. Epigenetics is another fascinating aspect. It refers to the modifications in gene expression that occur without changes to the underlying DNA sequence. Right. Epigenetic changes can be influenced by various factors such as diet, lifestyle, and environmental exposures. They can impact gene activity and potentially influence our health and lifespan. It's intriguing to think that our choices and environment can affect the expression of our genes and potentially have long-term effects on our health and aging process. Genetic interventions aimed at extending lifespan raise ethical considerations. While there is potential for great benefits, we must be cautious in their application. Absolutely. There are concerns about equity and access, as genetic interventions may initially be available only to those who can afford them, creating further socioeconomic inequalities. Ethical discussions should address issues such as informed consent, privacy, and the potential risks associated with genetic interventions. We need to ensure responsible and equitable use of these technologies. Furthermore, the idea of genetic determinism should be avoided. While genetics plays a significant role, it is not the sole factor in determining our lifespan and health outcomes. That's an important point. Genetics interacts with various other factors such as lifestyle, environment, and social determinants of health. It's a complex interplay. Absolutely. Genetic interventions should not be seen as a guarantee for extended lifespan. We must continue to prioritize lifestyle modifications and holistic approaches to health. Genetic research should be conducted with transparency and a commitment to advancing our understanding of human health, while also considering the broader societal implications. I agree. It's important to strike a balance between scientific progress and ethical considerations to ensure that genetic interventions align with our values and benefit the greater good. By fostering collaboration between scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public, we can navigate the complexities of genetic interventions and make informed decisions. Let's continue to engage in these conversations and stay informed about the latest research in genetics. By promoting responsible practices, we can harness the potential of genetics while upholding ethical standards. Absolutely. Genetics holds great promise in our quest for a longer and healthier life. Let's ensure that we approach it with care, compassion, and a commitment to the well-being of all individuals. Have you ever considered the psychological and emotional aspects of longevity? It's interesting to explore how our mindset and personal growth can impact our experience of aging. Absolutely. Aging presents us with opportunities for personal development and finding meaning in life. It's essential to embrace this stage with a positive outlook and a growth-oriented mindset. Maintaining a positive outlook can contribute to our overall well-being and enhance our quality of life as we age. It helps us navigate the challenges and changes that come with getting older. Definitely. Cultivating gratitude, 
optimism, and resilience can help us adapt to life's transitions and overcome obstacles that may arise along the way. It's inspiring to see how individuals can embrace aging as an opportunity for personal growth. Many people discover new passions, engage in lifelong learning, and contribute to their communities. Absolutely. Aging doesn't have to be seen as a decline but rather as a time for exploration, self-reflection, and pursuing activities that bring fulfillment and a sense of purpose. Finding meaning in life becomes even more important as we age. It gives us a sense of direction, motivates us, and helps us maintain a sense of fulfillment and happiness. That's true. Meaning can be derived from various sources such as relationships, hobbies, volunteering, or pursuing goals that align with our values and passions. It's also important to nurture social connections and maintain a supportive network. Building and maintaining relationships can provide a sense of belonging and contribute to our emotional well-being. Absolutely. Engaging in social activities, spending time with loved ones, and participating in community events can enhance our sense of connection and support our overall happiness. Self-care and prioritizing our well-being are crucial aspects of personal growth and aging gracefully. Taking care of our physical, emotional, and mental health allows us to thrive as we age. Absolutely. Engaging in activities that promote physical and mental well-being, such as regular exercise, practicing mindfulness, and pursuing hobbies, contribute to a fulfilling and balanced life. It's interesting to see how personal growth can continue throughout our lives. We can continue to learn, develop new skills, and gain wisdom that enriches our experience of aging. Lifelong learning is a powerful tool for personal growth. It keeps our minds sharp, expands our horizons, and opens doors to new opportunities and perspectives. As we age, we can also reflect on our life experiences and share our wisdom with younger generations. Mentoring and contributing to our communities can bring a deep sense of fulfillment. Absolutely. Our accumulated knowledge and life lessons can have a positive impact on others and leave a meaningful legacy that extends beyond our own lifespan. Embracing aging as an opportunity for personal development and fulfillment requires a shift in mindset. It's about focusing on the present moment, cherishing our experiences, and embracing change. That's true. By adopting a growth-oriented mindset and nurturing our personal well-being, we can make the most of the journey of aging and create a fulfilling and meaningful life. Let's continue to explore personal growth and find ways to embrace the aging process with positivity and resilience. Together, we can navigate the challenges and discover the joys of growing older. Have you heard about the latest scientific advancements in understanding the aging process? It's fascinating how telomeres, senescence, and genetic factors play a role. Yes, I've been keeping up with the research. Telomeres, the protective caps on our chromosomes, shorten with each cell division, leading to aging. It's intriguing how they're linked to lifespan. Absolutely. Scientists have discovered that telomerase, an enzyme, can lengthen telomeres. They're exploring its potential for slowing down the aging process. It's a promising area of study. That's interesting. Another aspect is senescence, where cells lose their ability to divide and function properly. Senescent cells accumulate over time, leading to age-related diseases. Correct. Researchers are investigating ways to eliminate or rejuvenate senescent cells to improve overall health and extend lifespan. It's a promising strategy to delay age-related decline. I've also read about the influence of genetic factors on aging. 
Some people seem to age more gracefully due to their genes. Do you think it's mostly genetic or influenced by lifestyle? It's a combination of both. Genetics definitely play a role, but lifestyle choices can greatly impact how we age. Healthy habits like regular exercise, a balanced diet, and stress reduction can make a difference. Absolutely. Lifestyle interventions like calorie restriction and intermittent fasting have shown potential in extending lifespan in various organisms. It's intriguing to think how they might affect humans. Definitely. Calorie restriction activates certain genes and cellular processes that can promote longevity. It's a complex area, but the research suggests it may slow down the aging process. I wonder how these findings can be practically applied. Are there any lifestyle changes we can make to potentially extend our lifespan? There are several strategies that can be adopted. Along with maintaining a healthy diet and exercising regularly, managing stress and staying socially engaged are also important for healthy aging. That makes sense. Stress can accelerate aging by increasing inflammation and damaging cells. So, finding effective stress management techniques becomes crucial for longevity. Absolutely. Engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment, like hobbies or spending time with loved ones, can also contribute to a sense of well-being and potentially extend lifespan. It's amazing how the science of aging is progressing. We have a deeper understanding of the factors involved and can make informed choices to lead healthier, longer lives. Indeed. It's an exciting time for longevity research. With further advancements, we might unlock even more insights into the aging process and discover new ways to promote healthy aging. I'm grateful for the researchers and scientists dedicating their efforts to this field. Their work has the potential to improve the quality of life for so many people as they age. Absolutely. By embracing the science of aging and making positive lifestyle choices, we can optimize our health and potentially extend our years of vitality and well-being. Let's stay informed and continue exploring this fascinating topic. It's empowering to know that we can take an active role in shaping our own aging process. Definitely. Let's keep learning and implementing evidence-based practices to live a fulfilling and vibrant life. Aging doesn't have to be a limitation. It can be an opportunity for growth and happiness. Have you noticed how technology is changing the landscape of longevity research? Wearable devices and health monitoring apps are becoming increasingly popular in tracking and improving our health. Absolutely. Wearable devices like fitness trackers and smartwatches provide real-time data on our activity levels, heart rate, sleep patterns, and more. It's like having a personal health coach. It's fascinating how these devices can motivate us to lead healthier lives. They remind us to stay active, track our progress, and provide insights to make informed decisions about our health. And health monitoring apps complement these devices by allowing us to log our nutrition, set goals, and track our overall well-being. It's like having a digital health assistant at our fingertips. Definitely. With the help of artificial intelligence, these technologies can analyze vast amounts of data and provide personalized recommendations to optimize our health and extend our lifespan. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize healthcare by assisting in early disease detection, predicting health risks, and recommending preventive measures tailored to individuals. Absolutely. Artificial intelligence algorithms can analyze patterns in health data, identify potential health issues, and alert us or our healthcare providers before they become serious problems. 
It's impressive how technology is empowering us to take a proactive approach to our health. We no longer have to solely rely on periodic doctor visits, we can monitor our health continuously. Exactly. Continuous health monitoring allows for early intervention and timely adjustments to our lifestyle, helping us maintain good health and potentially prevent future health complications. I've also come across telemedicine, which leverages technology to provide remote healthcare services. It's particularly useful for individuals who have limited access to medical facilities. That's true. Telemedicine enables us to consult with healthcare professionals through video calls or chat platforms, saving time and improving access to medical expertise. Technology is also making strides in the field of genomics. Genetic testing and personalized medicine can provide insights into our genetic makeup and help tailor treatments for better outcomes. Definitely. By understanding our genetic predispositions, doctors can prescribe medications and therapies that are more effective and have fewer side effects. Additionally, technology is revolutionizing the field of regenerative medicine. Stem cell therapies and tissue engineering hold promise in repairing and rejuvenating damaged tissues and organs. It's amazing how technology is advancing our understanding of the human body and providing innovative solutions to age-related health issues. Indeed. With these advancements, we can hope for improved health outcomes, increase life expectancy, and a better quality of life as we age. However, it's important to recognize that while technology has great potential, it should be used in conjunction with human expertise and a holistic approach to healthcare. Absolutely. Technology should supplement and enhance the doctor patient relationship, not replace it. It's essential to have a balanced approach that integrates technology and personalized care. Agreed. By embracing the benefits of technology while maintaining a human-centered approach, we can harness its potential to improve health outcomes and extend our health span. Let's stay informed about these advancements and leverage technology wisely to enhance our health. With the right tools and knowledge, we can proactively take control of our well-being. Absolutely. Technology can be a powerful tool in our journey towards a healthier and longer life. Let's embrace its potential and make the most of the opportunities it presents. Have you heard about Blue Zones? They are regions where people live exceptionally long lives. It's fascinating how lifestyle factors contribute to their longevity. Yes, Blue Zones are intriguing. Researchers have identified commonalities among these regions, such as a plant-based diet, regular physical activity, strong social connections, and a sense of purpose. Absolutely. Diet plays a crucial role. Blue Zone inhabitants typically consume mostly plant-based foods, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, which provide essential nutrients and antioxidants. Physical activity is also a key factor. People in blue zones engage in natural movements through their daily routines, like walking, gardening, or cycling, which contribute to their overall fitness and well-being. That's true. Regular physical activity helps maintain healthy weight, strengthens muscles and bones, improves cardiovascular health, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases that can shorten lifespan. Social connections are another important aspect. In Blue Zones, people often have strong bonds with family, friends, and communities, which provide support, companionship, and a sense of belonging. Indeed. Social connections contribute to mental and emotional well-being, reduce stress levels, and provide a support system that positively impacts overall health and longevity. 
Another interesting factor is having a sense of purpose. Blue Zone inhabitants often have a clear reason for waking up each day, whether it's family, work, or contributing to their community. Having a sense of purpose brings fulfillment and motivation, which can have a positive impact on mental health and overall well-being. It gives people a reason to stay active and engaged in life. It's fascinating how these lifestyle factors interconnect and contribute to the longevity of people in blue zones. They seem to have created an environment that promotes healthy aging. Absolutely. It shows that our lifestyle choices and the environment we live in play a significant role in our health and how long we live. We can learn valuable lessons from these regions. I agree. It's inspiring to see how simple yet powerful changes in diet, activity, social connections, and finding purpose can have a profound impact on our health and lifespan. The concept of blue zones reminds us that longevity is not solely determined by genetics or luck but by the choices we make and the communities we cultivate around us. Definitely. We can incorporate some of these principles into our own lives, regardless of where we live. By adopting healthier habits and fostering meaningful connections, we can enhance our well-being. Let's take a closer look at our own lifestyles and see where we can make positive changes. Small adjustments can add up over time and contribute to a healthier and longer life. Absolutely. Let's prioritize our health and well-being by making conscious choices in our diet, being physically active, nurturing relationships, and finding a sense of purpose in our daily lives. By incorporating these principles, we can create our own blue zone wherever we are. It's an opportunity for us to live longer, healthier lives and experience the joys of aging gracefully. I'm inspired to start making these changes. Together, let's embrace the wisdom of the blue zones and create a life that not only extends our lifespan but also enhances our overall quality of life. Have you ever thought about the ethical considerations surrounding extended human lifespan? It's a complex topic with implications for resource allocation, overpopulation, socioeconomic inequalities, and the environment. Absolutely. While extending human lifespan can be seen as a positive development, it raises concerns about how resources would be distributed among an aging population. That's true. With more people living longer, there may be increased strain on resources like healthcare, social security, and pension systems. It raises questions about fairness and equity in resource allocation. Exactly. We need to ensure that everyone, regardless of age, has access to essential resources and services. Longevity should not exacerbate existing inequalities or create new ones. Additionally, extended human lifespan could potentially lead to overpopulation. If people are living longer, it may result in a larger global population, which can strain limited resources and impact the environment. Overpopulation can put a strain on food production, water supplies, and energy resources, leading to environmental degradation and an increased carbon footprint. It's important to consider the environmental impact of an extended human lifespan. We need to find sustainable ways to support a growing population while minimizing our ecological footprint. Absolutely. Balancing human longevity with environmental sustainability is crucial. We must explore renewable energy sources, sustainable agriculture, and conservation efforts to mitigate any negative effects. Socioeconomic inequalities are another concern. If only a privileged few have access to life-extending technologies or treatments, it can further widen the gap between the rich and the poor. That's a valid point. 
We need to ensure that longevity enhancing interventions and healthcare advancements are accessible and affordable to all, regardless of socioeconomic status. Ethical consideration should also extend to quality of life. It's not just about living longer, it's about living well. We must prioritize not only extending lifespan but also maintaining good health and well-being. I agree. Longevity should be accompanied by measures to improve health span, ensuring that people can enjoy a high quality of life throughout their extended years. It's also important to involve communities and individuals in decision-making processes regarding longevity. Respect for autonomy and informed consent should guide any interventions or treatments. Absolutely. Individuals should have the right to make decisions about their own bodies and healthcare. Ethical discussions should include diverse perspectives and respect personal choices. Furthermore, we should explore innovative solutions to address these ethical concerns. Collaboration between policymakers, scientists, ethicists, and community leaders is vital in shaping the future of longevity. Ethical frameworks and guidelines can help navigate these complex issues. We need to establish guidelines that promote fairness, social justice, environmental sustainability, and individual autonomy. Ethical discussion should happen in parallel with scientific advancements. By addressing these concerns proactively, we can ensure that longevity is pursued in a responsible and sustainable manner. It's a multidimensional challenge, but with careful consideration, we can navigate the ethical implications and create a future where extended human lifespan benefits all of humanity. Absolutely. By approaching longevity with ethical mindfulness, we can strive for a future that promotes equitable access, sustainability, and the well-being of both individuals and the planet. Let's continue to engage in these conversations and raise awareness about the ethical dimensions of longevity. By doing so, we can shape a future that upholds our values and promotes the common good.